Hello, 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 hello. I'm going to take care of some technical issues real quick and then we'll get started. How is everybody? Let's see here. I forgot how to. Yeah, there it goes. All right. What's everybody up to? It's been a million years since I've been on here. I'm back from the land of the. I don't know what. I had foot surgery March 1st, and it was the second time I've ever had surgery, so it kind of freaked me out. Hey, Robert, how's it going? Um, the first surgery I ever had was when I was 16 um, for my cesarean, and so I had my foot surgery on March 1st. I'm going to try to make this a quick video because my foot is in a little bit of pain, and I need to elevate it and put ice on it. I would show you, but um, that's pretty gross still, but I think there's pictures somewhere. So anyway, I'm going to try and put on my face as fast as I can and tell you about the new things going on. It's the first of the month, so we have a new kudos, and I'm excited. Um, I opened it, but I haven't completely unboxed it, so I'm going to do that with you. Um, I have Glorious Primer on, and we are going to try the new... Unique Touch Stick Foundation today. My normal color is Organza. This is Eyelet, so we're going to see if it works. Um, we're also trying a new brush today. The brush I usually use, slanted and flat. Can y'all see okay? Okay, and then this one is slanted with a spoolie on the end. And I saw the Brown Ninja do this with this tool, who is um, Jill. And she uses this, and then she flips it real fast and does this little fancy... She used to be a nail technician. I think that might have something about it. Like, she's an artist already. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, we're going to try brows with this tool. I had this tool at one time, but I gave it to my mom because I thought this end was too big for me to use it. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell if it looks bigger? Anyway, we're going to do it anyway because I'm going to learn how to do brows like the Brow Ninja Jill. I'm using the Moodstruck Brow Obsession Palette in dark brown. It has a creamy gel and two dark colors and two highlighters. So what I'm going to do right now is just outline. We're probably just going to get some color on there first. It's going to take me a while to get used to this. I'm used to my smaller one, so let's get a little bit of the gel, just a tad, and we're going to dip into this darkest one, and I'm going to outline my brows. Hi, hey, Jennifer. Hey, Kelly. It's so good to see you. All this time, you've been so close, and I didn't realize it until Facebook. All right, so let's outline the brows. I'm going to start not all the way in my corner. I'm going to start about right there. And like I said, this is a new brush. To me, it's bigger. But let me get a headband on. Doo -doo -doo. It's bigger, but I'm going to make it work because I love being able to switch back with a spoolie. Okay. So a little bit more gel. We're just going to outline these on the bottom and top. So I had my surgery March 1st, and it freaked me out. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Just filling in, um, outlining my brows right now with this palette and my new tool. It's got a spoolie on the end, so let's finish this up and then... So I don't start all the way, I start, I come about right here. I talk with my eyebrows a lot, so thank you for the likes. So it's hard to keep still, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to get a little bit more of the dark powder and fill in right here at the back towards the tail. And I think I like this brush okay. Filling in. And then I'm going to... Just soften it a little bit with this spoolie. Hi, Chrisita. It's good to see you. And then I'm going to take the same one, but with the lighter color and ombre it out. 
This has taken me years to learn to do my brows. I I never did my brows. Uh, I just left them alone and then I'm going up strokes here. Um, I, I left them alone and then I plucked them. Hi Lisa! I plucked them until they were a line. Just one little line. But anyway, it's been so long since I've been on here because I had the surgery. Let me soften that up. And I, it freaked me out. So, I'm just going to, yeah. That's good. Hey, Barbara. All right, we do the same thing on the other side. Get a little bit of this gel and a little bit of the dark. I'm not going to come all the way to the front. I'm going to start about right there. I'm glad I got this tool because I did not like it in the beginning. I thought it was too bulky, but I was mistaken. It is just fine. So now we're going to go on the top. Right there. So the way that I find my um, arch is... Oh, thank you, Barbara. Me too. Like I was saying, the surgery like really freaked me out. Is um, I see where my hairs are going one way, this way, and then they start going this way. That's my arch. Mariah, what you doing, beautiful? Okay. So I'm going to blend that in with a little spoolie. Just like that to soften it up. I need a little bit more on the front. Kind of looks like a a bigger arch than I'm used to, and I'm just going up right here. Yeah, I can see what I need to do right here. I need to come over a little bit thicker here on the top. See what I mean, jelly bean? And then soften that up. Okay, now I have a little tool that I can just, it's a flat, so, oh, it already has a little bit of highlighter on it, so if you want to carve your brows out. Alright, then I'm going to take the tiniest part of the brush and dip it into the wax and a little bit of the dark brown, and let's see. Right here, I'm going to make, come out a little bit more with the lightest. And you can do it flat and come up or use that point to make little hairs seeming like. I need to go up a little bit more, it looks like. Yeah, it took me forever to learn how to do this. All I did was pluck them to death. That's a little bit better. If I had four hands, you guys, I could use them. <laughs> really, I could. Alright, so if there's any mistakes tonight, forgive me. It's been a while. The other day, I had a little bit too much coffee. I was going to come on, and my hands were shaking, and I was like, what's up with this? I can't go on like that. All caffeinated. I've actually had coffee today, but... That one I like a little bit better. I will get the hang of it. This is the first time I've used this spoolie brush all the way. I'm used to using this smaller one. So, but I like it because I can just flip over and do the spoolie. I'm getting hot. You guys know how I am with my hot flashes. Let me open a window. Ah, that's better. It's been windy today. All right, I don't want to get all my primer off. Let me show you what's in the box. Y'all, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I tried to get this earlier because it's sold out. It's sold out individually, that's all. You can still get it in this month's kudos. It's the Addiction Palette 6. What comes in this month's kudos is Addiction Palette 6. Um, an Epic of Your Choice, which is the mascara of all mascaras. That's a curling mascara. And um, it doesn't... Hi. Hi, Holly. Hi, Janice. Ah! 
Hi, Cassie. It's good to see everybody. So, what? it's the palette, a lip splash, and mascara. So, yes, last month was all about the face. The Flawless Floor 4 um, was the face, your face. And we came out with a new stick foundation also. I'm going to open this. I haven't seen it yet. You're seeing it first with me. Addiction Palette 6. So what they have, they have all the color, all the uh, types of shimmer, satin, and a new type called a shimmer pearl fleck, I believe. And I believe that is this color right here, delightful. So let's just swatch them a little bit um, and see what they look like. So delightful. They're, they are primer infused. I don't know if you can see this. The camera might be too light. Too white. Okay, and then calm and blazing. Let's just go ahead and get these on my eyes, all right? Let me see if I can use all of them. <laughs> I'm going to take a big, bleh, big fluffy brush. I'm going to use for my transition. I'm not big on the browns. I don't know why. Um, calm is pretty, pretty light. This might go up here. One second, you guys. Alright, so I'm going to do this brown transition anyway. It's called Enthralled. I've got to step out of my comfort zone. You know, I'm not used to doing browns, but I'm going to do a brown today. Enthralled. And after I get this on, I'll tell whether I'm going to use primer on my eyes or not. So I've got that all over my brush. I think I do want to put some primer on my eyes. I usually do my eyes first and then my makeup because so I won't get fallout right here. But today I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation on because you see all these little veins right here. You guys, I'm going to be 50 May 31st. 50! Woohoo! I made it! Can you believe it? I never thought I'd make it. Um but anyway, so I want that <laughs> I want that to be clear. Let's do some <laughs> eye primer or just some concealer. I don't see my eye primer here. So let's just use some concealer in velour. And what I'm going to do is put this on my palette ring right here. Just a little bit. Like that. This stuff is so good. It lasts forever. And I'm going to take my concealer brush. Can you see? And I guess, you know, um, if I had time, I would uh, carve out my eyebrows. But I would use a lighter color. So right now, I guess I'll just carve out underneath. And then I'm going to bring this down. And since I've got a lot on my brush, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and come down. Just like that. And then I'm going to get Blending Bud, spritz it with rose water, and buff it out. That's so much better. So much better. Anyway, so I'm, I'm reaching level 50, May 31st. I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to involve me flying somehow in the air, parasailing or something like that. I love this concealer. All right. We've got the brown already on here, so I'm just going to fix this little part right here first. All right. I've never done browns before. I just... I don't know why, I just didn't think they looked good on me. But let's start placing some right here in the end, in the outer V, and then coming out. Now I have eyes that are trying to get hooded. When you get older, this skin right here gets a little bit dragging, you know, sagging. So I want to bring my crease up. Okay, this is bugging me right here, so... Fix that a little bit. I know my eyebrows are not on point today. 
but it's okay. You that know me, you've seen me start from day one. Whoops, wrong spoolie brush. Where I didn't even have, I didn't even know how to put eyeshadow on. That's a little bit better. I didn't even know how to put eyeshadow on. Does that tell you anything? I like this brown. I can't believe it. It's really soft. So what I'm doing is bringing my crease up. Not right there. Come on, palette six. I can't believe I like this color. It's enthralled, this brown one. This is just going to give some dimension, but I want it to mainly stay on the outer V. Now bring it up. I'm holding at the end of my brush and I'm just coming back and forth. Do some little circles, just get it on there. Okay, and don't worry about this right here. We're going to cut that out with a crease brush. All right, some more enthralled placed right here. Little circles come up above my crease. Like so. Yeah, I've been in such a funk because of the surgery. Like the whole first week, I was just like stunned because it hurt so bad. They had to actually do three surgeries on my foot. I had what's called a Taylor's bunion. I didn't even know what a bunion was. I just thought it, my bones were messed up, um, which it was. It, it was a bone. All right, so don't worry about that. Let's get into blazing this purpley mauve, dark mauve, and I'm going to use the crease brush, fluffy crease brush from Unique, and I'm going to clean it a little bit. Where's my cleaner? I'll just use some. Our um, brush cleaner dries. It doesn't, it's not wet. Like all that color comes off and it's dry. Okay. All right. So let's try some of this blazing. This is palette six. It's sold out, I guess, in the second day it was released. But you can still get it in the kudos and in a trio. All right, I'm gonna place it this right here again. And then do the same thing, but kind of stay closer to my crease here. My actual crease now. Back and forth. I really like this color. Super pretty. Oh, thank you. Let me see my comments. You're so sweet, Kelly. Hi, Monica. All right. Ooh, that's darkening up quite a bit. I like it. So, yeah, I didn't know how to do eyeshadow when I first started Unique. I just did um, eyeliner and black eyeshadow, I mean, mascara, and that's it. Whoa, that's really pigmented. I'm bringing it up over my crease. Let's go ahead and get the fluffy. Blend it some more. Here. Yeah, I did not know about the browns. Just, I don't know, I've never been a brown girl. All right, let's do something drastic. Let's, we're going to use Impressive and Delightful. Impressive and Delightful. That is like soup. That must be the fleck. All right, Impressive, we're going to do that on my lid. So let's get a brush that has a sponge on the end. Let me clean this off for a second. This one is almost ripped. I was too harsh on this one. Let's use this one instead much better and clean it. See how fast that is? And like I'm always in a hurry. All right, we're gonna put, ooh, but lofty. Look at lofty. Oh my gosh. All right, impressive first. We're gonna do impressive on the lid. Let's spray some setting spray on this little sponge brush. And then get into this color impressive for the lid. I love it. Okay, so anyway, I didn't know what a transition color was. I didn't know like what color went where. And I'm just packing this on. 
I'm probably going to get into this darker color too. Um, let's see, it's very pretty. Shimmer, metallic. And so I studied, I watched YouTube and other wise sisters. I just used the brush cleaner on that. That's okay. I thought it was setting spray. <laughs> and learned and I'm still perfecting it. But so I get the the transition and the crease and under here and the highlight over here and all that. And Unique comes out with duet eyeshadows. It's like what? And there were just two eyeshadows in a, com a little compact. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? With just two. I learned how to use like four. Anyway, it's all good. I'm learning every day. All right, I like that a lot. I'm going to put some darker in here, I think. All right, whoops. Underneath my eyelid, I'm going to do some more of that blazing, that pretty mauve color. Just underneath here. Alright, let's try the lightest color now. Well, let's try this delightful. That's the fleck. Never seen it. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna put this right close. Hi Renee. pretty. Whoa! This is a different consistency than the rest of them. It's almost like a, I don't know, kind of creamy. Alright, let's get into this darker color, Audacious the darker brown and I'm going to try to make my crease a little bit darker right here. And this angled brush works really good for that. Alright. Now let's clean it up. So for that, I'm just going to take the concealer brush again, and I still have concealer on my little palette ring here. I really should use an angle brush, I guess, but it's okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit and go up like that. And then I'm going to... Okay, and the same thing here. So when you're a more mature lady, you can't do your makeup the same way you did when you were 20. I had to find that out. And um, that's fine. That's fine because we're going to grow old with grace, right? A little bit more of this darker one inside here. And then I'm going to blend it a little bit more and then we're going to move on. Not used to wearing this these colors, but what do you think? You're gonna do all right. All right, let's fix this base face. Base face. Ah! All right, new stick foundation. What did I just do with you? Here it is. So. You're supposed to use this with a kabuki brush. Um, I don't have one, but I'm going to use this one instead. It's kind of like one. It's just an old one that the handle fell off. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this in a different order. I guess I'm still kind of trying to get my groove back, I guess. All right, now we're gonna do eyeliner today. What I'm gonna do for eyeliner is take 
this eyeliner brush, put some rose water on it, and dip it into this dark, dark brown of this palette. You know what? You can use this palette for eyeshadow. You can use these two colors for your brows. You could use this for blush, and but all of these others for highlighting. It's a multi-use palette. That's what I like about it. And I'm just tight lining a little bit right here. Give me a little more wetness. Palette 6, you guys. Sold out, but you can still get it in the kudos. Do, 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 do. Still get in the kudos. Or in set of three. Alright. It's all going to come together. Alright, stick foundation. So they say don't use your fingers, don't use blending buds. Because this is a um, more coverage type uh, foundation. So I'm going to use my this brush while my other Kabuki brush comes in. Here we go. You could also buy different shades of this to contour and highlight. There's no wrong way or right way to do this. So I'm just going to... Mm -hmm. This is Eyelet, the shade Eyelet. I usually wear Organza, but these sold out also. <laughs> I probably got too much on, but anyway. These sold out, all the colors sold out like that. And then palette six. Whew, tell you what, Unique is on the ball. All right. Already have uh, primer underneath, so we're just going to spread this out. Are you seeing this coverage? A little bit more warm than I'm used to. Warm tone, I'm used to a cool tone. But it's not bad. Um, it's getting to be summer soon, so warm tone's gonna do just fine. And that's the thing about Unique, all their stuff is blendable. Let me sit on my leg. <laughs> This is definitely more coverage than I'm used to. The liquid foundation is more of a medium coverage, but the stick is definitely more coverage. I like it. All right, let's do... This is the Unique Duet Highlighter Contour Stick. I'm almost out of the brown on this side, so... Let's just do bronzer. Make it quick. Okay, this is the Beachfront Bronzer in Sunset. And I'm just going to give my cheeks a little bit of definition right here. I'm bringing that up right here to my temples. Now you don't want to go all the way down with bronzer or contour. You want to stop about here because if you go lower, you're going to look like you have a uh, 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> okay, double chin. You need to lose 5 pounds real quick. Under here. This is kind of an angled brush. This is not a unique brush, but... All right, a little highlight. Let's do a little highlight. How about, I lost my palette ring. Let's do some Scarlet. This is a concealer in a little bit lighter. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A little bit lighter than the other one. And I'm going to place this Where's my concealer brush on with a concealer brush? Here you are. Okay, I'm just going to dot that here. And I'm going to go down my nose. I didn't contour my nose, I forgot. A little bit 
bit up here. A little bit right here. Thank you for the hearts. All right. And we're going to buff it out. Let's spray this uh, blending bed with some rose water. Unique has rose water, and I ran out. So I just grabbed this one from, um, from Hobbs. Actually, I need a smaller one. And this is just so it won't soak up all your makeup. I'm just tapping and blending. Tapping. I'm not really pushing. Drag. I'm not trying not to drag too hard. We don't want to do that. You don't ever, 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 ever want to pull your face. Pull at your face. You know what I mean? Like, um, for years when I put eyeliner on, I would hold this out. I could hold, pull that out real hard. Okay, and now that I'm 50, I've got these little bitty lines there from that. So you young girls, don't do that. Just barely do what you have to do. And in doing that, I see I need like darker right there, but we're going to move on. All right, um, I want to contour my nose just a little bit. So how about we use the brown in here and just get this little angle brush. And I'm going to go down the bridge of my, because I have a big nose. I have an Indian Apache nose. And that's okay. I'm proud of my heritage. And right, this one should be still kind of wet, so I'm just going to... Blend that in. I need a little more right here. Yep, that's the ticket. That's it. That's it. This pearl fleck is crazy. I see what they mean by the fleck. It like, really catches your eye. Alright. Blush. Hmm. Hmm. Let's use sweet. And stunning because I just like to be extra all right these are highly pigmented you don't need ah, hardly any at all this little angle brush I'm just gonna barely tap in there less is more you want to start with less and then add more I'm barely even tapping that It's good to see you all. I appreciate you coming on and bearing with me. I like blush. I like color, so I'm going to blend this out, too. Okay, and then for pop, stunning. This is even more pigmented, and I just want a little bit on the apples. Como es. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm going to take this big brush and put a little bit of transparent setting powder. Actually, I should use a blending bud. Get a blending bud. And I'm not going to set this very heavy, just where I don't want it to shine. Excuse me. I want it to shine a lot right there. And I sweat. All right, so kudos, your choice of palette. We have six now. Oh, I got an itch on my nose right there, and I don't want to mess with it. You get your palette, you get an epic mascara, and you get a splash liquid lipstick. All right, so let's do the mascara next. Um, yes. Brand new one. Hey, Danny. Hey, Chad. So the mascara comes in black, brown, and waterproof. I am hot. Hot, hot. Give me a second. Let me get a drink of water. 
Do you think this blush matches okay with this? I'm going to have to practice more because, because there's a contest. There is a contest. You use everything in the kudos, take a picture, and put on a certain hashtag, and you can win this awesome quilted purple makeup bag. All right, this is Epic One Step Mascara, the best mascara in the whole wide world. <laughs> now, I have little lashes. That's just my curse. Um, but watch what it does. I like the smell of new mascara. You can't use this the same way you've used your old mascaras. Because what I used to do with my mascaras is get it out of the tube and then do, 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 all over my eyes and then go like that. Not this one. What I'm going to do is go underneath, wiggle, and then turn up. Did you see that already? And swipe. There's a lot on here. Bear with me. Right. Oh my gosh, I just stepped on my foot. I'm not supposed to step on. Let me get a little, a little bit closer. What am I doing? I can zoom. But I won't be this height, though. Okay. See them grow. It's taken a little bit. Now, like I said, I have little bitty lashes. I used the serum just to get this because they stuck straight out. That's how little they were. Okay, a new bottle always comes out with more product than I want, and that's why it's weighing down my lashes. But I've got a little fan going, and you will see. You can use as many coats as you want. This mascara is buildable. I mean, it dries soft. You could even let it dry. Come home and put more on. So I was told by my mom, see that now, how long they're getting, it just takes a second, because it's new, that when you get in your 50s and older like that, it's okay to wear false lashes. It's okay because when you get older, things just aren't like they used to be, so okay. I mean, I want people to see my eyes. Yeah, I was not gifted in the lash sec sec uh, lash part when they were giving those out. But I have other gifts. <laughs> okay, it's, it's curling. It's curling. It's just a brand new tube and, and there's a lot on there, so... Also, this makeup will stay on your face all day, all night, until you take it off. So, let me finish telling you my story about surgery. 
think the I need to pull back a little bit. When I woke up, I was not breathing. I would not breathe. They told me to breathe. I took a couple of breaths and I was holding my breath again. She said, if you don't breathe, that machine's going to go off again. And so I started breathing. <laughs> but my body was completely rigid after I came out of anesthesia, and it's because of trauma. So I thought that was interesting. Your body stores trauma. That's why... Like you can hear a certain sound or smell a certain scent and it like takes you back. So, but I'm all about healing that trauma. Hey look, a new beauty mark! Just kidding. <laughs> we'll get that in a little sec in a second. I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, good deal. Let's do some lips. I have a new Splash Liquid Lipstick I've never tried before. I'm going to get rid of this thing already. Thank you for the hearts. There. <laughs> Alright, this is called Successful. Here's another step out of my comfort zone. Oops, the wall is moving behind me. <laughs> This is a rose nude. I am not a nude person. Um, we have several beautiful nude splash lipsticks. I have some too. I even have the liners that go with them. I just never thought they looked good on me. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try anyway. I've used a lip exfoliator. A lot comes out of these two when um, it first comes out, but they dry to matte. So. I'm going to put it on for you guys, even though, even if I like it or not. Alright? Okay. I'm going to like it, I bet. It's different than the other nudes. It's, this one has some color. It's kind of... I don't know. I need to take a little bit off the top. This wand is so cool because it kind of curves. So you can use it as like a liner. Alright, here we go. Watch it be my favorite in the world. It's my favorite in the world. <laughs> it's it's going to be my favorite. Messed up. Where's my lip brush? That would help. Oh, well, just use my finger. Ah! It's powdery soft. What do you think? My lip is crooked right here, like, it doesn't want to go up. I have a crooked smile because I had a bad tooth right there one time. So Successful is the name of the Nude Rose Lipstick. Do they have that back in stock? Thank you, Lisa, Barbara, um, what back in stock? The palette or the lips? Successful? You're a unique girl too, aren't you? This doesn't even look like it looks on my lips. I like it. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm so glad I tried it. I love it. I really do. The, uh, this is in stock. Yes, this is in stock. Um, my website is pinned right there at the top. If you just click it or just click on my face, it should bring it up. Uh, Woohoo! I'm excited about this. Okay, so palette 6 is sold out on its own, but you can get it in the kudos. The kudos is our monthly bundle for you, the customer, to try some of our products at a discount. It comes with, you can choose any palette, we have six now, comes with the palette, your choice, your choice of lip splash, and your choice of mascara. 
So we have brown and waterproof too. This fleck, it's weird. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like I've got tiny little pearls on my eyes. Watch. This one's better. No, this one's better. But right there in the corner, you see that? Trippy. Oh, let's fix these brows. Hello. The brows need a little bit of work. Ah, where's my new brush? I gotta get used to using that. I see my old one and I could just pick it up real quick. But I need to get used to using that spoolie brush. But what happens is when you have a black table and you set something down, it gets lost. All right, let's fix these up a little bit. What do we think? I'm thinking right here, I got a little white line. And I'm almost done. Oh, I was looking in my mirror, you couldn't see. That's just going to have to work for today, guys. Let's see. I think I need a little more blush. I think I'm okay. Let's do some setting spray. What have I missed? Have I missed anything? I didn't carve my brows out on the top. That's okay. All right. The spout is messed up. That's why I have, you don't have to use that much. You don't have to use that much at all. All right. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. I'm glad you were here with me on my um, debut back. I'm going to do a little bit more darker um, right here. Yeah. I'm good with that. All right, that's it. Let me tell you what's new. Okay, the stick foundation is new. Almost all the shades but four went on back order, out of stock, like the first week. I love this coverage. I really do. I'll come back on this evening and show you when I take my makeup off. Um, so that's new. We have a new kit. I want to give you this opportunity, put it out there. Um, we have a $99 kit, starter kit, and a $199 starter kit, which has more things for you that comes ready for you to sell already. Like it has three mascaras and three lip products and things like that. Um, you set your own hours. You make as you work as little or as much as you want. The minute that you join, your website goes live. Um, the Three hours after you make a sale, you get paid. You get a little debit card. Um, this opportunity has changed my life completely. I have not had this much confidence, courage, self-esteem to be able to come on here, especially being a survivor um, of the one in four statistics. One in four girls and one in five boys will be molested by the time they're 18. Ninety percent of them know their perpetrator and 50% of them are family. I'm a one in four, and I'm a warrior against it now because I made it. Um, the uniquefoundation.org is that website. Click on that if you need details. Um, if you're not a one in four, you love somebody who is, and this statistic has to stop. So we have to raise awareness and um, get rid of the stigma that is associated with it because it is everywhere. Um, but they provide a haven retreat in Utah that I went to in November. It was life changing. Also, that I had, I learned at 49 that I can retrain my brain from trauma and PTSD, and so I am on that path to do that. Um, if you have any questions about the opportunity, um, or the Unique Foundation, or any of the products that you've seen here, message me. If the red live box is not on there and you're watching the replay please push hashtag replay so i can come back and say hi to you um let's try a little bit more mascara and see if what i'm really telling you is true can i really put a little bit more on here after this is like already dried i certainly can I 
if you have already long eyelashes, this is going to be good for you. We also have the 3D mascara, the fibers. You can use the fibers with the Epic to make it even more voluminous. All right. I keep saying all right, <laughs> but I'm still here. Okay. So I tried Eyelet for the first time. That's the stick foundation. I tried palette six with these browns for the first time. I never thought I would like that. Um, and I tried a nude lipstick for the first time. It's called Successful. And I like it very, very much. Um, get with me. Message me. I'm always here. If you need prayer, I would love to pray for you or pray with you. Um, you can do this. Anybody can do this. If I can do this, you can do it. And I just want to tell you that I love you. You guys help me out so much therapeutically by coming on here and watching me put on my makeup and supporting me. Um, so I appreciate that. I love you a lot. And if no one's told you today that you're beautiful and worthy, you are beautiful and worthy. And um, if you have found um, value in this video, share. And I would appreciate it. Thank you, Lisa. It was crazy there in the beginning. I didn't know what was going to happen with this eyeshadow. Um, I still keep seeing things that I want to... Like this. I want that more. But anyway, you get the gist of it. I got to go. I got to get ready for choir practice. Mwah. Love you guys. Have a great night. I'll see you soon.